Good morning boys and girls, it's Mr Overman. It's lovely to see you all again and I hope you're still keeping safe and well. In my last video I talked to you about recycling and I showed you how to make a football out of plastic bags and string. In my video today I'm going to follow a similar theme of recycling uh, but first I want to say a big well done and thank you to all those who had a go at making your footballs at home and sent pictures into the home learning email address. Well done and keep sending them in. So today we're going to look at recycling again and I'm going to talk to you about a country in South America called Paraguay. Paraguay is a small landlocked country surrounded by Argentina, Bolivia and Brazil. It has a population of 6.7 million and like many South American countries it is a country of real contrast. It has stunning natural landscapes from beautiful waterfalls, towering mountains to really vibrant um, festivals which celebrate its culture. It's also a very poor country with around a quarter of the people living below the poverty line. And in its cities, there are incredibly poor and deprived areas where people struggle to survive and live in very squalid conditions. Centuera is one such neighbourhood just outside of the city of, ca of uh, the capital city. Here, 40,000 people live in a town built on top of a landfill. In this neighbourhood, garbage collectors scour the rubbish for anything of value that they might be able to sell. Throughout this neighbourhood, music resonates from cheap plastic radios, yet for most of the inhabitants, a musical instrument would be an unobtainable treasure. In 2006, a man named Fabio Chavez, an environmental consultant, and Nicolas Colac Gomez, a rubbish picker, began to wonder if they could create instruments from scraps they found on the tip face. People in Catuera use trash as a resource, Chavez said. It's a natural approach here to look for an answer and resolve the needs for instruments by using recyclable materials. Their workshop became a place of musical refinement and experimentation. An old oil drum was a good body for a cello. A bent kitchen fork for a violin tailpiece. The first few scratchy instruments were given to local kids for whom a new violin might cost a month of their parents' wages. Chavez began to train his ensemble. This isn't the sort of place, he said, where someone can just have a violin if they want one. A violin is worth more than a house here, so a violin made out of trash is worth nothing. Therefore, it won't be sold or stolen. From their first few practices, the orchestra slowly got the hang of their strange instruments. Now the group are seasoned performers, and they've done lots of shows around the world, including uh, working with heavy metal groups such as Megadeth and a South American tour with Metallica. But for Chavez, the idea of working this way doesn't depend on fame or success. For him, musical uh, instruments occupy a near mythical realm of precision and refinement in his culture. But the children of Catuera show that an orchestra is formed by people, not instruments. He says that the idea is now available for anyone. This is something that can be replicated in any part of the world where they have similar circumstances. It can be an inspiration for music to be part of the community where there's not many resources. A film was made about them called Landfill Harmonic and it follows their journey. In it we meet a young girl called Rios who wants to perform, uh, become a professional violin teacher. She currently has 17 students in her neighbourhood. She says the experience of travelling to Rio de Janeiro for their first international gig where they played to the UN Earth Summit was her greatest memory. But the concert itself was a, a sideshow for the first time she ever saw the ocean. I never imagined I'd get to the, go to the beach, she said, and then being there with my friends was special. But being in a tropical climate also brings challenges. It's very challenging to play a recycled violin. The weather changes the sound. When it's hot, it's hard to hear. But my violin is my friend, she says. The film itself has played a role in stretching their reality beyond even the wildest dreams of them. Chavez, who only recently started receiving a wage after thousands of hours volunteering with the orchestra, insists that the key elements, music and the benefit of the community, cost little apart from time and care to make the instruments and engage with children. The orchestra's got lots of copycats around the world now, with people uh, inspired by their story. Chavez says he's heard from communities in Ecuador, Panama, Brazil and Burundi who have begun similar schemes. I'm going to share with you the trailer for the film Landfill Harmonica uh, and I hope it inspires some of you to watch it with your families. Yeah. 
entienden? Bueno, entonces tienen que atender. actually made all of the instruments out of trash. Look at this. That's a fork, people. Let gifted music shine through tonight on that stage. enjoyed uh, watching that film trailer. I think it's amazing to see the sorts of things that people around the world can in invent and improvise and the musical instruments those children and our adults made are really a a quite inspirational. Um, so based on that I'm going to show you how to make uh, a little guitar out of things you might have around the home. Okay so to make your recycled guitar you will need uh, a cardboard tube, an old tissue box, some newspaper, scissors, some elastic bands, some old lollipop sticks, a bit of paint and paintbrush, some glue, and some sellotape. The first thing to do is to paint the inside of your tissue box and make sure your cardboard tube is the right length and then paint that as well in whatever colour you like. Painted the inside of my tissue box and around the edge of a tissue box, sometimes you get bits of plastic, like you can just see there in the corner. If you have any of that, pull it or cut it away so you don't need it and pop it in the bin. And then make sure you've painted your, your cardboard tube and leave them to dry. Now the reason I'm putting newspaper down is to stop any paint getting on the tables, which I know mum and dad will be very, uh, very keen to avoid as well. And I'm going to use the newspaper later in our project so that we're not really wasting anything. Once those have painted, you need to leave them to dry for about an hour or so until they're really kind of quite dry, not at all tacky. And then you need to line up the cardboard tube to one end of the tissue box and just draw a circle around it. Um, that's where the two are going to attach later on. And once you've done that, drawn around it, you need to cut it out so you've got a nice hole. Um, not too big, don't certainly go over the black lines and that should be great and you can leave that for later. You need to decorate the outside of your tissue box. Now, for my one, I'm going to wrap it in newspaper just so we can recycle the bit of paper I put down when I did the painting. But really, you can decorate it however you want. You don't have to use newspaper at all. You could use some leftover Christmas wrapping paper if you've got any in the home. Or you could paint it and use felt tips and decorate it however you like, really. But I wrapped mine up. And then again, I've just gone round and cut out the holes where I, that I drew for the cardboard tube and also where the tissues came out of, because you'll need that for later. So, once you've covered or decorated your tissue box, next you're going to put some glue, and I've used PVA glue, on one side of each of the two lollipop sticks, and I'm going to stick them either end of the big hole in the middle of my box. These lollipop sticks are going to act like almost like a bridge on a real guitar. Um, so I'll just show you here, there you can see. So again, you'll need to leave them to dry for a few minutes. So I think for my one, it took me about 15 to 20 minutes until they were dry. If you try to move on too soon, um, the glue will be wet and they'll wobble around a little bit and you don't really want that. Once they have dried, however, the next step 
is to put some elastic bands all the way around your cardboard box or your yeah your tissue box. Um, I've tried to use plastic bands, elastic bands rather, that are different widths. Um, and when they're stretched around the box, the different widths will give you a different sound when they're twanged, which you can hear at the end. Um, and you'll also note from my picture here that I've left a bit of a hole in the middle, and that's because we've got to remember to put our cardboard tube back in in a moment. So next job is to attach four, we can have as many uh, rubber bands as you like really, but I've chosen four, and wrap them around the box. Now we move on to decoration. I found some pom-poms that were lying around, so I've glued them on to make it look a little bit nicer, but again you don't have to, and you can decorate it however you like. And the next stage is to insert your cardboard tube in back into your box. So you can see I've just pushed it through the hole there. Um, and one thing I noticed when I was doing it was the hole in the middle of the tissue box wasn't very wide, so I just cut it a little bit bigger, and so you can make those sorts of alterations as you go along. And once you've cut that in and pushed it nicely into the box, make sure it's nice and stable. If you need to, you can add sellotape to kind of secure it, but mine was quite tight so it didn't move around very much. And then finally, add any other decorations you want. Um, again, anything you've glued on will need to dry, so you'll have to leave that for a few minutes. And once it has dried, you can hand it over to a test. Uh, you can give it a bit of a test. There was only one person I could think of who could possibly have the skills uh, and style to pull off an air guitar um, test with this fantastic example of uh, engineering that I've made for you. So we'll hand over to Mr. Hassan.